we've entered blocks mode now for our connect the dots app. And the first three thing we think about when we want to make our connect the dots app is we want to be able to tap the screen and then have that dot show up. So in our canvas we have a touched event and we also have blocks in our canvas to draw various items. So we look at all these procedures that allow us to draw things on our canvas and one of them is to draw a circle and draw a point. Right? We want slightly bigger than just a small point so we're going to actually draw a circle for the points that we're going to put on our canvas. Okay? So we want to grab that block and put it in there. And then we have four things we have to fill in. An X, a Y, a radius, and a fill. Fill just allows us to know whether we want to color in the circle or not. Okay? We might want to choose a different color as well. So we'll set the paint color down here, the drawing canvas paint color, before we actually draw the circle. If you set it after, We've already drawn the circle, so we can't change the color. Okay, so we'll set the color to green. And then we want to realize, okay, where do we want to put this? We want to put it wherever we tap. And when we tap the screen, we get these variables given to us by the event. So we can grab the X and the Y, and that's where our circle will be centered. And then for a radius, we can just pick a number that's big enough to make it evident that it's a dot on our canvas. So we'll choose three for now. So this by itself will allow us to put dots on our canvas repeatedly. Now, the point of this app is to connect the dots when the user wants to connect them, and we're gonna connect them with lines, which means we have to save that information somehow. We can't just put it on the screen and draw circles because then it's gone. So we have to save it, which means we're gonna need a few variables. Since we have an X and a Y, every time we touch the screen, the canvas, we need to save them in lists because we wanna store all the X values and all the Y values. So this is where the concept of parallel lists will come in. And so we can have an X values list as well as a Y values list. So every time we add an X value, we will also add a Y value. But these start off as empty lists because we haven't actually touched the canvas when we start the app. So we make them empty lists to start with. All right, we should also do a nuanced thing and make a way to exit our app, right? So when the back button is pressed, we will exit our app. So under controls, there is a close application, right? And that's a simple way to exit the application, okay? So now we have lists to store our values in, and we've drawn the circle already, but we need to store that information. So the information is in X and Y, and we want to put it in our list. So if we go into our list blocks, we'll see that we have several different blocks to choose from. And one of those is to add an item to our list. So we want to add our X, right? Our item goes in the second spot. We also want to add our Y, all right? And then we have to specify where we want to add those items. So we want to add them to the X values. The X goes in the X values and the Y goes in the Y values. So this allows us to add our X and our Y to our lists. So every time we tap the canvas, an X will be added to the X values and a Y will be added to the Y values. And so we, if we tap the canvas five times, each of those lists will have five things in them. And so that's our basic draw canvas touched event. All right, so that's 
what we're going to set up and then we're going to set up the clear canvas button event that just clears the canvas completely okay and so in other videos we'll set up the other buttons but we'll do the clear canvas in this one. So we're drawing some simple dots and then we're going to clear the canvas. So we want to get the button event and then we see we have the click or the tap of the button and then we want to do two things. We need to clear our canvas, empty it completely Right? So if we look at our canvas, we have all these different procedures like we saw to draw things, but the first thing we see is a procedure to clear the canvas. And that wipes it clean to its initial state, which for us is a blank white canvas. Okay, But we can't just clear it because we tapped a bunch of times on the screen, so all of those values were added to our lists. So we also have to clear our lists. So our set blocks for our y and x values have to be set to something. And we just want to empty the lists. So we're going to create empty lists in each of those spots. All right. So every time we clear the canvas, we have to do two things. We have to set our canvas to be empty, right? nothing on it anymore, as well as create empty lists for the x values and y values because that overwrites the old values. So that way they're empty lists now. And now we got a blank slate to start over with. And this has been the basic setup for the intro to blocks on the connect the dots app.